What's up everyone, this is Cybernet 8610 and today we have 100 random packs to open. Yes, I'll probably end up splitting this video in half because I don't know how long this video is going to be. We have so many packs to open and uh, I just hate to have such a long video on my channel. So more than likely this will be a two part, maybe a three part video, I'm not too sure. So yeah, uh, you guys voted, you wanted, uh, the majority wanted just to see all these openings. Now though, for the people that didn't want to see them all at once, okay? Uh, if this video does well, please share this video with your friends, of course, subscribe, like this video, all that kind of stuff. Leave comments. If it does well and it gets uh, lots of views, likes, and all that kind of stuff, then I will buy another one of these, but then I will, you know, like open up like five a week or something, and we'll have one every week as well. That way, uh, the people that wanted that will be happy as well. But that's only if this video really does well. And look at all these packs. It's, it's just beautiful. It's like Christmas today for me. So yeah, can't wait to get started on these openings. Which one to open first is the question. Let's go with Dark Crisis. I think it's the oldest pack here. We got two of them right here. We'll go with them first. Hopefully the quality looks amazing for you guys. I try to make it where it's a lot brighter on certain things because sometimes it seems really dark. So yeah, everything's in English. There's a few first editions. So yeah, I'm going to try to get going now. I'm not going to be able to say every common's name, but I will say the rares and stuff. Guardian Trice. I'll try to show everything as well. I just don't want the video to be too drastically long, as you guys can understand. And I keep watching to make sure I don't run out of battery or something. I'm really trying to make sure everything is 100% for you guys. So yeah, Dark Scorpions, which also... No, we already got a hollow. Interdimensional Matter Transporter. There we go. That's a great start out of two packs already. We got an Ultra. Not first edition, but still very awesome. Interman. Yeah, Interdimensional Matter Transformers actually becoming a really good card in some ways. It's, it's kind of making a comeback. Um, I don't know which one to go with first. How about this? We'll go with Absolute Power Force. There's two of them. Golly, if only if it was possible I could open up all these at the same time. And yes, my hands are shaking. I'm sorry. Uh, Ascending Soul. There, I'm just going to stack them all together. Yes, be sure to get your popcorn and a drink, and you can uh, watch all this. Power Pickaxe and Ogre of the Scar uh, Scarlet Sorrow. Good grief. I'm having a hard time pronouncing cards today. So two hollows out of four backs. Not bad here. I'll put the hollows over there. Well, you guys can see them. Uh, Crimson Crisis. There's only one of them. Let's just go with it. I know at first I went with oldest to newest, but now I'm just going with random. As it is random pack opening. I believe this is the biggest random pack opening on YouTube. I know there's been bigger pack openings because people open cases, but still. Salt Beast and Dark Strike Fighter. <laughs> awesome card. That would have been really an amazing pull back in the day when this card was wrecking the meta. Still amazing now. I still love this card. Really nice. Love it. Salt Beast. I love my assault modes. So yeah, that's good. Um, Crossroads of Chaos. Will this be where I get my uh, Ghost Black Rose? You guys know I've been kind of trying to hunt for the one. Let's see. Pride for Roar and Rame. Hey, that's that's a hollow. I'll take that. Take that any day. A hollow. Heck yes. We got one more of uh, Crossroads. Allergies trying to bother me, so I'm trying to hold back the sneezes. Yes, I know my hands are shaky. I'm trying not to be shaky. Uh, Mortronic Radeon. Oh, no hollow. Oh, well. Ghost Black Rose, we will meet another day. Uh, we even got some newer packs. I don't know if anyone's noticed that. Um, Power of the Duelist. We got a lot of Power of the Duelist. I don't know maybe if I should put you guys through the Cyberdark Impact or not <laughs> at the beginning. Because we got a pretty good amount of those. We, I don't know how many. I didn't really count them. But we got a lot. We might have a box worth. There we go. I'm trying to make sure. Yeah, my hands are shaking because I want to open all these so badly. Hey, uh, I'm a hero, Dark Neos. That's the one from pack first edition. Yes, very, very nice, very nice indeed, indeed. <laughs> all right, Power of the Duelist yet again. We got. I'm just gonna go through the Power of the Duelist, I guess. These are first edition, so that's always a bonus. There we go. Uh. 
Cyber Summon Blaster. Remember, for some of the newer players out there, that in some of these older packs, of course, we only got a rare or a hollow, not both. So, for some of you newer players out there that might not know that, the more you know. Yes, let's see. Hey, Submarine Roid Ultimate. Ultimate first to add. That is really cool. I've been tempted to make a Roid deck, actually, so... Tough. Maybe that's a sign right there. That's what that is. That's a sign. Yes, though, remember to share this video with your friends. Like I said, if this gets a lot of views and likes and stuff, we'll be sure to do another one of these, you know, except uh, spread out a little more. Alien Mother? Not bad. Aliens are pretty cool archetype. We even got raw yellow mega packs. But that was kind of funny. Just shows the little assortment of packs we got going. We got a lot of Order of Chaos, too, which is not bad. Hey, Destiny Hero Dogma. First edition. Very nice, very nice indeed. Destiny Heroes are cool. I'm already getting a lot of hollows. A lot of people were wondering if these were scaled. I think I'm proving that they aren't. Love to see a ghost or something. Of course, uh, part of the duels, they didn't have ghosts. But for later on packs is what I mean. Uh, alien Warrior. That's a good alien. Probably the best alien out of, uh, well, it's the best level 4 alien, I guess. It's more of the beat stick one. Okay, that pack's gonna be weird to open. There we go. Ah, Neospatian Aqua Dolphin. Hey, that's not bad at all. That card's been reprinted a bunch, I think. It's back in the day. Golly, though, if I would've got that Dark Strike Fighter back in the day, that was the money card back then. That was your Rescue Rabbit, your Card Card D, Tour Guide, I don't know. I'm trying to think of other cards to compare it to. Overlord Fusion, that's not bad. Not bad at all. It's a good rare. Good grief, we still got two more Power Rose. We got lots of Power Rose duels. We got lots of packs in general. And we've already got quite a few hollows. I haven't really been keeping count, to be honest, but we got a pretty good amount. Cyclone Blade. I love me some pack openings. Evidently. <laughs> that y'all all said that probably at the same time. Like, yeah, I think you do. Uh, Destiny Hero Dasher. It shows that I enjoy pack openings to buy this. Um, what do we go with next? Let's go with the Lost Millennium. Then we'll probably get Cyberduck Impact out of the way. Because I know you guys do not like your Cyberduck Impact. Uh, Mid-Shield Gardener. Also, Avion. I like seeing the Avion there. Wish we would have got a few more Lost Millennium. So first edition as well. Oh, another Avion. There we go. That's my dual spirit, remember? Uh, Grave Oja. Hey, Bersinatrix. I, I was really hoping to get a fusion of the materials. Oh, well. I remember trying to hunt those down as a kid. Uh, Raw Yellow Mega Pack. Let's get those out of the way. I've opened a box of these and everything. Well, there's my Elemental Hero Fusion. <laughs> there you go. Flame Wing Man. Natashi Destiny Draw. And uh, Dark Dragon... Or Dark End Dragon. Let's see. Another one. Alright, there we go. Zanji. Not bad. Dimensional Fisher and Ruby Carbuncle. Definitely not bad at all. I'm already really enjoying this pack. I mean, uh, Rise of Destiny. They seem like they're the closest to us. Another pretty good stack of them. I don't know. And we open a box of these. Huh. Yeah, we open a box of these uh, at the beginning of the year. Flint. I always thought Flint was an interesting card. I don't know. I wonder if I could use that sometime. I remember actually using it back in the day when I had an ultimate one. When you play at school. Let's see. A-team trap disposal unit. Now everyone's hoping I pull something really awesome and scream like a woman. 
and run and everything. I don't know. I don't know what all you want. Ultimate insect level three. Yeah, people always want me to act crazy in videos, but I figure there are others that do more of that than me. I'm just not that much of a crazy person in the sense of running around and screaming. Uh, rare metamorph. But in the sense of sanity, I am crazy. See, there you go. <laughs> Two wood boring and potty. I'm about to say, didn't we get a double? Rare metamorph. An interesting card. Interesting. Hey, there we go. Big core. That's uh, first edition. That's pretty cool. Can't complain about a hollow. Hollow's much better than just getting a rare. We've got a stack of commons over here. I guess, you know, remember I to look through these commons as well. Some of them will be for trade, if not all. <laughs> Deja vu, another big core. <laughs> I guess I will be building a big core deck after this, evidently. I don't know. Good grief. I have a bunch of ideas. I'm telling you, I am insane. I'm just not the insane as I'm screaming when I get a good card. You're gonna see me in a straight jacket trying to open Yu-Gi-Oh packs with my teeth. Uh, Fushler Dragon Dual Mode Beast. That's pretty good for your skill drains. Cause if we still got three of these things. I'm telling you, hopefully you guys got a snack or something before you started up these videos. Rare Metamorph. That's another one. A rare one, though. I'm not really putting the rares to the side, because... I don't know, most of these I already have. None of the rares, anyway. I don't think too many people are too interested in the rares. If you are, of course, send me a message. I'll trade. Uh, another hollow. Bakiru's Circle of Enchantment. Not bad. Looks really cool. Very, very shiny. And our last rise of destiny. Dun dun dun. It's like there ought to be like a lightning strike or something after I say that. Okay, there we go. And Sasuke Samurai number four. Alright. Um, let's go with Raging Battle. I think we only got one of them. The Raging Battle. Ghost Power Tool Dragon, please. I don't know, that'd be cool. I already have a ghost fire tool, but it'd be awesome. Brain golem and ah. Oh well. Um You say packs, why not? There's only two of them. Now we got a lot of dualist packs. I'll probably get an arm dragon level 10 out of the Chaz packs that I got over there. Super Saiyan Vegeta right there. See? Uh Road Synchron. Right. No copyright intended at all on that, huh? It's just like a Super Saiyan Vegito. Yet, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. A skill successor. Assault mode activate. I use that card a lot in my Dragoonities. Dragoonity Assault. Uh, let's go ahead with Cyber Combat because I know there's so many of you that are just dying for me to open this, and yeah, I can't disappoint. Probably the worst set of Yu-Gi-Oh, unfortunately, because there are some cool cards in here though too. Lurkwing level five. The funny thing about that about the set is that there are actually better commons in the set than the hollows in some ways. Although I do, I will say I do enjoy the Cyber Dark monsters. So I'm not saying anything bad about them, especially you know because I know a lot of people enjoy them. But really, it's still not one of the best sets, unfortunately. Generate circuit. Uh, uh, Cyberdark cards got a lot better because they got the card Cyberdark Impact, which is kind of funny because that's the name of the pack, and it actually, I think that came out in Tactical Evolution, which is kind of a funny thing. Dimensional uh, uh, Inversion? I couldn't read it for some reason. Snipe Hunter, see, that was like the main card of the of the pack. I don't know if, I don't know if there was a, even a, really a money card in this set, to be very honest. Of course, back in the day, it wasn't near as bad as it is like, you know, when 5D started and stuff, where cards were like hundreds of dollars. Hey, there we go. Uh, Dark Licious uh, Level 8, first edition. Not bad. He looks cool. I always wanted to use some of those level monsters that didn't get much respect. 
There we go. I'd love to get some of the fiber darts. I know they get reprinted though in the Zane pack, so I got a lot easier to get, which is pretty good for people. Uh, <laughs> here we go again. Dimensional Inversion. That card that was so hard to read before, we got the ultimate one now. We're moving on up. No, I will not sing that whole song because I don't know it. Nobody wants to hear Cyber Knight sing. Trust me, you'll go deaf. Or you'll wish you were. Uh, Flash of the Forbidden Spell. Man, if I do this in one video, it's going to be one heck of a video to upload. Eh, it's infusion, that's a good common. Darklicious level 6. There we go. You might as well get the whole set of them. Alrighty. Another infusion. That's pretty good. Uh, Black Corn of Heaven. Nah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Good grief. I'm going to have so many commons after this. I have enough commons. People always ask me, what do you do with all your commons? I have a big box under my bed full of commons. Ah, Darklicious <laughs> level 6. I guess I'm going to use Darklicious and Big Core. <laughs> There's a few of these hollows are like trying to give me a sign of what new cards to use, it seems like. Not bad. That looks pretty cool. That goes great with the level 8, I will say. Still kind of hoping for a Cyber Dark, though. And also, why does this camera have to be so dang sensitive? Because I have to turn off my fan when I'm doing these videos, or it makes a noise in the background. Then I start, I'm going to end up cooking because I'm in Texas and it's so hot to print paging rhinos. Killing me. Just wait till it gets over 100. Alright, Vanity's Ruler. Not bad. Another Snap Hunter. Golly, I got a bunch of Snap Hunters in uh, Antifusion. Not bad cards. Like I said, those were like probably the best cards out of the set in some ways, or the most usable in other decks. Mir Miraculous Rebirth. Yeah, that's hard to say. So, there we go. See, we got through the Cyberdark Impact together. See, it wasn't as bad as you thought. Let's go with the Jesse Anderson packs. Why not? Why not? The only bad thing about Duel's packs is that I believe all their little exclusive stuff that I have from these packs have been reprinted. Pen Destruction. Hey, that's not too bad. That's actually a really good card. In some cases. I've had cases, though, where it did not help me at all when I've used it. Come on, there we go. Topaz Tiger. Like I said, the unfortunate thing about this is that back in the day this was good because it was easy to get Crystal Beast, but now since we have the raw yellow Mega Pack, you can get the hollow versions, and most people want the hollow versions anyway. Unfortunate. And what was weird about this pack is that there is no Pegasus or Rainbow Dragon, if I'm correct. Uh, Crystal Abundance, not bad. That's a good card for them. The other, I think, Japan one, though, they got Rainbow Dragons. I don't believe we, we get them in this one. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. Crystal Tree, there's an exclusive. Eh, not bad. They got, yeah, I think they got reprinted. Alright, let's see. I guess we'll save all of our uh, Zeal packs for last. And we'll go ahead with the Chaz. Chaz it up. Yes, yeah, so many of you remember that. Really want my Season 4. If anyone's hearing Season 4, please. Hey, Ring of Defense, not bad. That's actually a pretty cool card. Use it with Ring of Destruction, but unfortunately, no Ring of Destruction. It is a forbidden. Oja Magic. Let's see, what do we got here? Infernal Incinerator. Good grief, my hands are getting tired from opening all these packs. This is the most work I've had in a while. 
Yes, Cyber Knight needs to lift some weights. Of course. There we go. I guess we're just going to go with the Jane. Elemental Hero, Aqua Neos. It was pretty cool how they made that rare. I'm just, actually, I'm just going to switch back and forth between these two. The Astro Pass and the Jane ones. If we get a pretty good amount of both, and it might be cool to kind of switch it up here and there. Fearmonger, and Diamond is pretty nice to have right there. <clears throat> My allergies are killing me now. The weather is so lovely. Ah, <laughs> another Aquanius. I say, have another one of those deja vu moments. Right, I'm going with the Esther. I know I'm going to end up throwing off the little pattern we got going here. Just know it. Defender, just near Defender, I remember thinking how awesome that card was. And it's, it's an alright one. We've had worse. Kind of reminds me of Big Shield Garden, no? It's not really, it's not really as bad as Big Shield Garden in some ways, though. Uh, Amateur Wild Edge, you can see, yeah, he has Edge Man on him as well. See, we talked about that in our misprints. I know it's a very, very common misprint, but it is a misprint nonetheless. I think it's like every Blade Edge that's out of the Bulls pack. So, I mean, you can get them for like a dollar, if not less. Uh, Destiny Hero, Double Dude. Double Dude's pretty cool. He's like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, or whatever. Looks pretty cool. I always really like Destiny Heroes, you know. It's always was, was like, I'm sure it's more like Marvel characters or whatever, and uh, that uh, Destiny Hero was more like a DC or something, because it always reminded me of like a Batman and stuff. Uh, New Space and Dark Panther. Oh, come on, where are the hollows? Where are the hollows? Well, that pack just went to pieces. Alright, I'm going to just destroy this Aster pack. There we go. Uh, Dreadmaster, not bad. Hey, it's kind of printed weird. See, it's kind of printed up there. That's it's kind of a misprint, I guess. I don't know. We could call that a misprint. Alright, come on. Big money, big money. No whammies. Good free free. I have like 22 minutes. Uh, Amateur Blade Edge. Not too bad. I remember actually getting uh, the Ultra Blade Edge from... Uh, what pack was it in? Cybernetic Revolution? Is that right? Or is that Elemental Energy? It was Elemental Energy. I remember actually getting that on the release date. Whatever pack it was. I, now, the more I think about it, the more I think it's Elemental Energy. Doesn't hear a dogma. See, that's pretty weird, too. It's kind of lower on the card. We're getting a bunch of misprints. These are all first edition, yes. What we got? What we got? What we got? Uh, Space and Flare Scarab. Sorry, my brain just stopped working for a second. <laughs> it was like, I don't want to read any more cards, and I was like, yes, you will. Just hear a dog about it. Yet again. Look at that. Aster packs are weird. Some kind of curse on them. And also, there's... I'm not getting any hollows with these. Come on. Come on. Somebody break... Break this curse we got going right here. It Wild Edge. <laughs> Let's call him Edge Man. Because I was thinking about the misprint thing. Great, we got two pretty big stacks of commons. Show you guys after the video's over. Uh, double dude, see yet again. Look at that. It's lower than it should be. Hmm. So people tell me, does that count as a misprint? Kind of does, yes, but I wonder if anybody can be interested in those because of that. That's kind of a neat thing, I don't know, it's kind of cool. Another Blade Edge. I do believe we're getting cursed though, no hollows on these Duelist Packs. To tell you the truth, I'm looking forward to seeing what's in the Zell Packs, because I'm hoping I'm going to pull a Card Card D in it, because I think that would be hilarious. Hey, there we go. Eternal Dread. I always thought that was an interesting concept. How it would make the clock tower go. Ah, uh, now I'm going to have to build Destiny Heroes as well. Good grief. We're going to have to find a deck that can use Dark Glacius. 
Destiny Heroes and Big Core. All right, there you go. Work on that. All right, another Aquanio Scooby. If we got place out of those. Don't worry, we're almost done with these. I know you guys are getting bored with these little packs, and I'm counting them too, to be honest. Another Dreadmaster with weird printing. The Dulce Packs are always pretty cool, but sometimes I get bored with them. Because they don't have as many cards in them and everything, it's just kind of eh. Although I really wish we would have got the Dulce Pack Yuma in English. Are you listening, Konami? Here we go. I need a special in Dark Panther. Oh, okay, yeah, we're to Astro Pack. I think I've actually done this correctly so far. And switched back and forth every time. Dogma. Grief, I think we got a blaze out of Dogma. Hey, there we go. Material Dark Neos. That's our second Dark Neos, really. First edition. Huh, very cool. We'll go with that. We'll wait on that Miracle Contact to be released. In English. Then we will destroy everyone with it. All a part of my master plan right there. Another dogma. Good grief, we might have two play sets of dogma. I swear I've gotten a bunch of dogmas. Alright. Last Jaden pack. Kind of wish it would have been Jaden pack number three. Yeah, three. I'll say that one's two. Wild Edge. Or a Jane pack number one. I think number one had some pretty cool stuff here. But these ain't bad either. And, hey, there we go. Mental Hero Shining Phoenix Enforcer. Not bad, not bad at all. It's a pretty good way to end the Astro Packs. I remember I had a lot of those whenever they came out. Alright. What do we open first? Let's go with Galactic Overlord, because I really hope we have a Card Card D in here. And, you know, just... Because every time I've opened a few of these packs, I've gotten one so far. So, are we going to break that chain? More than likely. But well, let's see. I still got number seven on my side. Number on my side. So, got a garden up. Yeah, bound one. I still think this card's going to end up being good in the future. With magicals, eh, I can see potential. Uh, let's just put a new stack of comments because I'm afraid these other stacks of comments we have over here are going to fall over. Alright, what well, we got. Oh, no hollow out of that one, but Dimensional Slice. I think there was a lot more cards in that one. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and there wasn't. It just seemed like it. Uh, there we go. I'm just losing my mind. This is card card D. Are we going to break the chain? Well, I laugh hysterically if it is. Yes. Well, they had to put me away. Probably. Oh my god, we're almost at 30 minutes. Uh, Heretic Dragon of Asar. Asar? Aw, oh, no, Hala. Oh, we broke the chain of Card Card D. I'll just have to go back to Walmart. That's where I got them in. Hastings, evidently. Um, Generation Force. I'm in a Generation Force mood. Evidently, I'm in a mood to open all kinds of different packs. Oh, my God. People are going to think I'm rich after this. I'll get more of those questions. No, I'm not. I just work a lot. Uh, Sky Star Ring. So, for once, I thought I would enjoy... Some of the money I've worked for and uh, splurge on a bunch of packs. Kind of sounded wrong. Oh well, you know what I meant. Uh, Gishki Diviner. Uh, Gishkis are pretty cool. I want to see some kind of TCG exclusive Gishki now, please. A ritual monster one, though. I know we've had some other stuff, but I want to see a ritual monster one. Hey, Gumbler. Uh, Metro Goka. Yeah, not bad. Not bad getting a Goblin Burger. That's actually a really good common. So, you know, it's kind of hard to complain. Let me get another one of those because I use those things like crazy these days. Hey, right, there we go again. Speak of the Devil. Or the Goblin. I don't know. Fish and Swaps. Alright, come on, Generation Force. I want to see a Still Swarm Roach. Or a Livier. Actually, I'd want to see a Livier or a Roach, to be honest. Uh, Sea Lancer. 
come up. Give me at least one. Hold on. I'd love to see a ghost in here. Or a uh, beer? Leviathan. Vision here, Trinity. Hey, that's a hello. I will take that. A wind up snow. That is way better than no hollow, and it's a uh, hero, so I cannot complain. Heroes are awesome. Heroes are like drugs to me. Don't be drugs. <laughs> hey, Exceed Veil. <Vail. laughs> One of the worst sneak preview promo cards, I gotta say. Echo Ship. Maybe in the future it'll be good. I don't know. Uh, face up, sea monster you cannot. Uh, it's kind of a weird card. I don't know. I I want to be optimistic about it. Go ship's pretty cool though. I want to be optimistic about that card, but I just don't even see it coming in handy in the future. That's the reason I'm not very optimistic about it. Usually cards I can go, hey, you know, this situation it might work. Goblin bird. Mass here goes. Good grief. We're gonna have lots of goblin birds after this. Two more generation forces. You guys are trying to make it where I don't want to open packs anymore. I know what you're doing, but it's not going to work. This guy Star Rain. I love doing pack openings. Even if I do get compared to others or told that this other person does it better, I don't care. I still enjoy my pack openings. And I know you guys do, so it makes it all worth it to me. Let's see. United Front. Eh. Generation Force was kind of eh. But let's see what we get from Order of Cast, because they're our last packs. Holy crap. <laughs> Whew, this is a workout in itself, my friends. And so I don't care if other people say that some others do better openings than me. I do not care. I'm close to 20,000. I'm happy with what I do. I have lots of people that love my videos. Sweet corn. That's that's the good card right there. Hey, there we go. Go with Giant and Ivatayo Nahasho. Nahasho? I guess it's how it's pronounced. I don't know. Forgive me, if the title, because I never pronounce if the title card's right, and I always get a comment about how I don't. For a long time, I called them evil lights. I don't know. There's some kind of dyslexia going on right there. Uh, Unicorn Spear? Hey, uh, Insector X Zedhawk. That's another promo. Preview promo. That's kind of hard to say quickly. Alright, more order. Chaos. No, we didn't get any uh, Thunder Shockwave. We skipped a whole set of them. Got a guard. Hey, there we go. <laughs> and Sector Hornet. There you go. It's not first edition, but I will still take that any day. I was just thinking about this. Like, hey, I wonder if I'll get an Sector Hornet. Not bad. Not bad at all. See? Worth it right there. I think I've think of all the hollows I made, I've made my money back, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't really been keeping track too much. I know there's a few of them in there that are only worth just a little bit of money, but Sector Hornet really catches up right there, because I spent about $100 on this 100 packs. What was it? 120 shipping and all? Something like that. So yeah, that will really help me out, actually. Reverse Buster. I don't use in Sector, but that will help me out. We're making a little money. So yeah, that's going to be for trade sale, whatever. There we go. And people said these were scaled. <laughs> uh, ZW, Unicorn Spear. I wish that card would have come in handy more. Because that seems like a cool idea too, and I think in the Return of the Duels we're getting another one that's similar. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, well, my light bulbs went out my room. I'll say what happened. Alright, Insector Dragonfly. There you go. See, we've already got our makings of a broken Insector combo right there. Alright, how many more packs we got? We got four. Four out of a hundred. <laughs> we'll just take a break. Oh, fine. We'll open them. Good grief. Like I said, if you like this video enough and everything, we'll see more of these. Shrine of Miss Valley and XC Reflect. And Curry Volt and Purple Thorny. Now those are actually the best cards out of this pack to me. But Exe Reflex is cool. I like the way it looks and everything is pretty neat. And the Shrine of Miss Valley is pretty neat. Because I like Gustos. Even though it says Miss Valley, it has like a Gusto on the card. I don't know if I can I get a good enough. I don't know if you guys can see, but I think it's Cam. Gusto Cam. Or it's Window. I don't know. Basically the same thing. 
sweet corn. Freaking awesome. And Ninjutsu Art of Duplication. With some kind of Naruto Jutsu right there. Two more card, uh, packs. Card packs. Packs with cards. Ooh, we got lots of hollows. And I am dying in my room. It's hot in here. It's Hector Hopper and... Hey, there we go. Wind up Cares and Mighty. It's not bad. Dang, the Order of Chaos packs are really nice out of this. And some upside down cards. There you go. That's pretty good too. I mean, that's about... $20? $20? $15? I don't know. It's around in that. It's been a weird card lately because it's going up, down, up, down in price. Alright. Our last pack. Okay. Do I have the energy? Will it be amazing? Will I just pass out at the last second? Sweet corn. And, ah, uh, no hollow, but we did get Curry Vault. Hey, Purple Thorn and Curry Vault. I cannot complain now. Uh, Dark Blade, Captain of Evil Evil World. Good grief, that's hard to read whenever the light hits it like that. I uh, wish that card would have been a little better because the artwork is amazing. Alrighty. Now let's show all the comments. Of course, I'm not going to go through them. I'm just showing you the stack of comments. Because this would take us another 30 minutes. Look at that. Whew. Anyway, we'll just go through the hollows really quickly. we got a pretty good amount of hollows. Look at that. That can be a good thing for a beginner right there and start off a good binder. I'm just going to go through them. I guess everything's for trade and so. If anyone's interested. I love that Arc Strike Fighter. I know I got Insector Hornet, and that should be the one I'm most happy about, but I'm actually most happy about the Dark Strike Fighter. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, this almost 40 minute video. Oh my god, you guys are trying to kill me. Um, so yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed. I know we'll get so many comparisons to other pack openings, but oh well. Cyber Knight will always be Cyber Knight, and that's just the way it is. And uh, I'm just enthusiastic as I want to be. Anyway though, uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Please, like I said, share this with your friends. You know, like I said, the more likes, the more views this will get, the more reason I'll have to get another one of these. And then uh, next time we'll probably spread out. Like I said, we'll do like, I don't know, five packs a week or, or ten a week. Even. I mean, there's a hundred, so we'd have about ten weeks worth if we did ten a week. So maybe we'll just do that. Just tell me what you guys think, of course, in the comments about that idea as well. And, uh, yeah, of course, we're going to have a lot more stuff pretty soon. Uh, more than just pack openings, of course. I don't do just pack openings, so if people that might be wondering, I got a pretty cool idea for deck profiles that I'm going to have pretty soon, and a uh, great way for my viewers to get involved as well. So anyway, oh, we also have a bunch of random videos, because I am insane, and uh, while I'm sleeping and come up with that idea, I have to get up and write it down, because I'm an insane person. And, uh... I feel like there was something else I was going to announce, but I can't remember it. Oh, yeah. Uh, people thought that maybe I wouldn't have enough money for other pack homies because I did this. Uh, that couldn't be further from the truth because I am insane. Remember, I keep saying this. You guys just don't believe it, though. Uh, I've ordered already some other little packs and stuff and different little things, you know, that we're going to do some openings on. And, of course, anything that comes out that's brand new, even if I'm a couple days later on after release date, because I always uh, order everything online through strikesonline.com, um, I... I will open everything, <laughs> it seems like. And also, I'm going to try to get some different green stuff. Green stuff that we didn't get is what I like to open. If it's something that we got, I don't see any need. But if it's something, you know, like, uh, for example, the Yuma Duels pack. It doesn't look like we're ever going to get that, so it was fun to open. But yes, I am rambling too much, and this video does not need to be any longer. Thank you to everyone that subscribed to me. This is my big thank you to you guys. I, I can't thank you guys any more, you know, than, than this, I don't think. I mean, you guys are awesome. You've made Cyber Night who Cyber Knight is, yes, I'm in third person now, and it's it's been amazing, you know, so far. I mean, only two years, almost 20,000 subscribers. I know I get compared to others. I know I always get those comments here and there on how I could be better and how to improve. I need to be more enthusiastic, whatever it is. And, you know, I just like being myself. I enjoy that, and evidently being myself has got me this far, and I'm, I'm really happy about that. So thank you to everyone that supports me. You guys are amazing. I always try to answer every message I get. So feel free to talk to me. We're going to try to have more live streams. I want to talk to you guys, duel against you guys, and have a blast. You know, I really want to duel against more of you guys. I know a lot of you were nervous and stuff, and I don't want you guys to feel nervous around me at all. I'm just a human. 
just a regular human being, sort of. I know, I'm a little crazier than the average human. But, you know, misplays happen. We're just playing for fun. Remember that in my live streams? I said, we're just playing for fun, and I make misplays as well. We're all human, and there's no need to feel nervous at all. I don't want anyone to feel nervous. I feel bad whenever others feel nervous around me. So, yeah, that's everything. Please subscribe. Please have fun, and we're going to have probably years and years of videos to come. So, yeah, thank you to everyone, and uh, before I get any sappier, I will just end this video. Later, guys. Love each and every one of you. No homo. Thanks for watching my latest video. Be sure to subscribe before you leave, and also be sure to leave a comment and rate this video before you leave as well. Alright, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Later.